MW3 is about to fully come out soon, so why not finish MW2 with some all best working infected glitches. Just before we start, I thought to let you know there will be some old clips in here, so don't get confused when there's like different types of tones in my voice, but let's get into it. Starting off, we're on Zombies Infected on Embassy, all you want to do is place a barricade here, you want to run and jump on top of this tree stump, you can then run and jump on top of this fence, you can then literally walk across this fence, you can literally just prone on it and hide on it if you want to, and i also got another extension view also, if you literally just run down here, you can also get to these sandbags. Here's another spot on Zombies Infected Embassy, all you want to do is do a strafe jump to this window, you can literally just chill inside of here. Unfortunately all the other windows are not in this video because they're all patched. Here's another spot on both working embassies. As you see, you can literally prone inside of this bush and you're pretty much hidden. We're on Alice Silo, all you want to do is run and jump up here, or you can literally climb up this way. You're then going to need a barricade, all you want to do is place it exactly where I do. You can then run and jump on top of these fans. You can literally chill up here, just make sure you stand on the fans only. And as you see, hardly anyone saw me up here, they were literally running around clueless. Here's another spot on Alice Silo, if you place your deployable cover on here. All you want to do is then run and jump all the way to the right side of this tree. And as you see, you can literally chill in here and no one will probably find you and look up. So we're now on Tarak. All you want to do is make your way to my location. You want to go to this part of the building and you want to place a barricade literally next to this chair. And you want to try and have it so it's hanging off the edge. And then you want to climb up on top of the barricade. And then you want to run and jump on top of the lamp on the wall. And then you then just want to do a run jump towards the roof. And you can then literally climb up and you can just chill up here on different parts of the roof. And yeah, it's really, really cool because you're really high up and no one literally tends to look up. So you're in a pretty awesome spot for uninfected. But all you want to do is make your way to my location. You want to make your way to these rocks and just prone until you phase through it. And then once you've done that, all you want to do is either do it on the left side or the right side. And you want to find a spot where you're like barely visible. I see here, here's a good example of my friend. He was literally barely visible once he found the right spot. We're now on showdown. All you want to do is make your way to this scaffold in here. You want to run and jump on top of this little pole here. You then just want to jump on top of this part here. You then just want to jump to the corner and you can then climb up here without any barricades. So this is really, really awesome because this is no field upgrades needed. And you can literally just prone up here and hide up here on infected. So now on the Hotan map, all you want to do is just break the glass as you see here. And all you want to do then is just run, jump into this glass. You'll then be halfway in the curtains. And then all you want to do is just prone inside of this grey beam by breaking the glass and you can then get to it. And you're then in a pretty decent spot. Here's another spot on the hotel map. All you want to do is just go up to these plants at the back of the map. And all you want to do is just prone, but obviously you can't really be seen as you see in the drones view. This also works on the other bush as well as you see. I recommend proning like this. And here it is in the drones view. And this works better if you have a friend with you. So you want to place the first barricade in the door so it keeps the door locked in place. Get your friend to place the other barricade down, stand on the door, and you can then just run and jump on the lamp. And most of the time, people will see you up here, but it really depends on the FOV of the players that are playing. Next spot, we're on Albagra Fortress. You want to make your way to the hay, and all you want to do is just prone inside until you go under. All you want to do is move like left to right, and you'll start to notice you'll go quite under. And here's what it looks like. So on Museum. What you want to do is make your way to this area here, place the barricade exactly where I do, and just do a tactical sprint dolphin dive on top of this light, as you see. And then once you're on the light, I recommend going exactly where I do, all the way to the end and scooting off a bit so you don't get seen, because if you're too fast to the right, you can be easily seen. On the museum map, all you want to do is make your way to these tables and chairs. You want to find a gap and basically drop down, and once you drop down, you want to prone, and as you see, you're in a pretty decent spot. We're now on Crown Raceway. As you see, the right side is now patched, but the only side that works is the left side window. So what you want to do is go over to my location, stand on top of these ovens, place down a barricade, you then just want to smash the windows and you then want to do an automatic tactical sprint dolphin dive. You can then literally crawl through and drop outside of the map basically. And no one's literally going to find you here. They will find it hard to throw throwing knives. So the next glitch is on dome. You want to make your way to my location and you want to place the barricade exactly how I do. And once you place it, you want to stand on the barricade and you can then jump up on this pretty cool ledge. For now, Mikado Las Almas, all you want to do is have a barricade and you want to make your way to my location. You want to place down the barricade on these fruit boxes, run and jump on the barricade and do a dolphin dive on top of these blue sheets. So this is not the best spot in the world, you're not god mode, but people don't really tend to look up. Also, here's what it looks like in the drone's view. And by the way, the reason my gun was sticking out is because I'm in my drone, but usually this will not happen when you're not in the drone. For the last spot we're on Punta Mart, all you want to do is make your way to this bench. You want to place one barricade down here, then you want to run and jump on top of this arch, then you want to place another barricade on here, 
Obviously this works for every other friend. Once you place the second barricade, you just want to run and jump towards this balcony. And then this is harder than it looks by the way. You can then literally get up here. If you do manage to get another barricade, you can then go even higher up. You can literally get to the roof, but you probably won't get to the roof online. But yeah, just practicing custom games of this one. But um, as you see, you can literally walk around the whole balcony. I've showed this many times in many videos. But yeah, that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoy every single working effective glitch in MW2. I'm Kim Winterfall. Peace out.